and hello to my Tauruses. Welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie, and yep, I'm Debbie. Anyway, we're reading for February 20th, 21, 22, and 23. There is a lot of the two energies going on. There's a lot of the two, 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 maybe even the two, two portals going on and opening up too. So I did do an overview um, sailing into, I don't know, is it the dawn or into the light? Um, it's an overview of what's going on in the world. I tell you about my cards, but I also do a reading for what's going on worldwide. And I also tell you what's going on in the stars. I also remind you all that these are general readings that may or may not resonate. And I say, take what you like to, and leave the rest. So I am feeling my Taurus, and I don't know if this is for all of the Earth energies, but I do feel like there is strength, and there is strength in numbers, and I feel your energy is just getting stronger, your sense of purpose getting stronger. Now, it could be because we're getting closer and closer to your sign. You know, we're going to be, you know, we're in Pisces, and then there will be the new astrological year. But I, do, I like I said, there's strength in numbers. Something about their strength in numbers and I know that I've been pushing you more into a leadership role, not me per se, but the cards, of the you know, higher power um, has been talking more about you stepping up and being more in that leadership role. Um, yeah, I still get that energies for you. Again, strength in numbers. Um, you're very much an influencer. And um, just, just keep being Taurus. Just keep being Taurus. Okay. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else would you like to say to our Tauruses? What do they need to know? What's a good, what's, what's, what's good? What's going on for them? What's going on for my Tauruses? Again, strength in numbers. Um, keep your eyes open. Keep your um, gut, you know, keep your gut, your psychic uh, energies open too. Protect yourself. Cover yourself in the cloak of protection. But um, be very aware. Stay very aware. Okay, nothing is reversed. Let's see what we've got going here. We've got that Queen of Ariel. And I love myself. I love the Queen of Ariel, the Queen of Pentacles. So Ariel in itself is your energy, Capricorn in, in Virgo, money, job, career, home energy. Underlying energy is our, is our water energy. It's our cup energy. It is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio we have that new moon in Pisces on the early morning of the 20th, depending on where you live. 2.05, I think it is, Eastern Time AM. So this is, you know, new beginnings, new starts, new seasons happening, an emotional energy. But this is, again, your work energy, your money energy, how you like to keep your, you know, keep your house. This is about going after the things you love, going after the things that, um, you know, that just make you just darn old happy and also that help other people too. Because the Queen of Ariel, she takes care of the ones that she loves. She, you know, she makes sure that they're taken care of. They've got food on their table. They've got a roof over their house, you know, over their heads. So she is taking care of the, of the immediate needs, but she's also doing some things to take care of more than just that. She knows that the soul, the, soul, the spirit, the creativity needs to be nurtured too. So there's something with this Queen of Ariel that's even more than how I normally talk about her. She loves pretty things, but she's also, there, there's this sense for this Queen that she wants to make sure that she herself and the people that she loves and cares for, she doesn't have to love them, but she, maybe she cares for them, um, or they are under her care, that they are being nurtured. They are being, um, you know, they are being, being, um, I know I keep wanting to say cared for, but that's not it. That that they that their spirit again. It's it's a lot to has to do with spiritual and um, emotional and psychic type of needs are also being taken care of. It's like the whole picture, the full picture. It's the it's like a three hundred and sixty degree, you know, looking at everything and saying what needs to be done and getting it done. So. Uh, in many ways, the Queen of Ariel is kind of giving me that um, that counselor or that therapist type of energy. You know, and it doesn't mean that she has to be somebody that's, you know, psychological. She could be a physical therapist. She could be a, you know, occupational therapist. She could be a mental health therapist. She could be a spiritual therapist. 
but it's like she has this very deep understanding and I have to <laughs> where are we going even with this she has this very deep understanding and she knows that it has to be used now that I think is where we're going so it's that all that stuff my Taurus is that you might be keeping hidden and maybe you've been kind of thinking well you know yeah maybe it's not the time well this is you coming out and you there's a lot of caring energy with this for you okay now it's it's it could be also for you to you but I do feel like this is you taking care of a lot and others around you too okay wow that was all right let's go on mature practical generous and happy you can look at her she's gorgeous I mean, or she's dressed beautifully, let's put it that way. There's abundance all around her. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. So I do love that she's not, she's not flighty. She loves pretty things, but she's not flighty. There is a sense of we have to deal with what we have. And, you know, there's a sense of, you know, there is a grounded energy for her too. Okay, let's see what else we might have. The eight of Ariel. So the eight of Ariel, eight is unlimited opportunity, unlimited possibility. Ariel, again, is your energy. And this is really, a lot of times the eight of Ariel is stepping into a promotion or being acknowledged for something that you're bringing and doing. It's stepping up and it's also, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's being more. It's being more than, you know, than maybe the others. It's being more. It's being that light. It's being the one that, you know, it's almost like a guiding. You see the, you know, the angel showing and kind of giving clarification, showing something in the passage. There's a little bit of light to the work itself or to the book itself. And basically the eight of pentacles, eight of Ariel, eight of earth is more. There is more in the possibilities. There is more to come. There is more, uh, you know, opportunities out there for you. Okay, so there, there is a lot of earth energy around you right now. And again, this Queen of Ariel really captures my eye. And it's a very, like I said, again, I wanted, you know, strength in numbers, but you have been stepping up. You have been stepping up. You may have to learn a little bit more so that you can become very, you can become that subject matter expert. But in many ways, you are. You just may need to tweak some areas here. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So there is, I mean, be very confident in what, so if you're in something where you have to give a presentation or if you have to um, debate, there's a lot of confidence with this um, energy, too. The six of Raphael. So now we come to this water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Remember, water is the underlying energy to the queen of Ariel, too. So it's, you know, like I said, Scor uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have a new moon. So new moon in Pisces. So that's really a very positive, you know, jump start. It's kind of like jump starting your career, jump starting your next step, jump starting your you know, your sense of confidence, having this, like, yes, I can do so many, many things. Six is the number of man. It's the um, energy that you put into something. It's the energy that you put into a project. The six of cups usually has something to do with your history, your past. It might be your dreams. It might be what you wanted to do. Maybe, maybe there's something that you wanted to do that's now coming up for you again. Something that maybe you thought of, you know, maybe you gave up on that dream. There's a lot of dream energy with the six of Raphael for me right now for you. Um, it's kind of, again, it's kind of going back to those times that you thought, well, no, these things aren't possible. And now the possibilities um, reemerge. It's like, yeah, I, I really feel like it's like that. The possibilities are, are returning. The possibilities are reemerging. And again, you know, I have been having you step up, or the cards have been talking about you stepping up, being more of a leader, strength in numbers, believing. Um, there's, there's this sense of, like, kind, you know, my, my, my bull just kind of like, just going for going for the gold energy here too so embrace your inner child so have some fun with this think back to that child you know that those 
I shouldn't say childhood dreams, but think of back to those dreams that you thought weren't going to happen per se, or, you know, how can this ever happen? New friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. Now, it could be that there is something, um, children, there could be something to do with um, some, you know, people in your, young people in your life, but usually I get with this, I get that it's like your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, and it's bringing those back up, things that have been really buried deep in you. So we have an 8-6 and we have a 6-8. So let's see what else we might have here. Okay, higher power, what else do we have for this? And I'm kind of getting to, if you know, dress for success. I'm getting with the Queen of Ariel. If this is about going after something that you've been wanting, a new job or something from your past, um, and this could even be maybe you're going to go back to an old job and you're just coming back and kind of showing where you've gone to, you know, might be that. Dress for success. Dress for success. Show you know, show the world, show the world, just for success. Anyway, let's see. Higher power, what else would you like to say for our Tauruses? Yeah, they're, again, the pack, strength in numbers, um, dress for success. Let's see, what do we have here? <laughs> well, this is kind of um, interesting. So now we have a seven, divine umbrella, divine intervention. This is actually the chariot major arcana card i'm going to cough so excuse me a second here okay major arcana and it talks about be open to success look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance you're balanced you've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner there will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way but don't be shy Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. And that goes back to this. That goes back to this and this. And this goes, you know, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Be open to the success. Be open to the people who want to tell you what you've been doing and being, you know, be open. Accept. Again, dress for success. Very, that was very strongly coming. Strength in numbers, though. That strength in numbers. Not quite sure where we're at, except... It does, um, you know, it does, there is strength. <laughs> okay, let's see. You know, it's best, like I, you know, I say this every so often, it's best when I try not to understand too much because it just, it really is um, strength in numbers for you. Not quite sure what numbers, who, you'll figure it out. Okay, what else for our Tauruses? What else for our Tauruses do we have here? Here we go. The Mushroom Fairy. Step into the light to rejoice and celebrate all the good there is in you. So step into your light. Rejoice and celebrate all the good there is in you. So yeah, this is a this is a time that you like I said, you know, you're being elevated. You're being, you know, rejoiced. You're being celebrated. You're being, you know, all the success. Okay, crystal or energy for our Tauruses. What else is there? Crystal or energy for our Tauruses. Popped out citrine, wealth, enhanced career prospects, self-esteem, and manifestation. Believe, believe, believe. So my Tauruses, again, you know, okay, you're, the, you're, you're, you know, you're being pushed into the leadership, um, set, you know, strength in numbers, Dress for success, and then it says be open to success. Okay, so my Tauruses, I love it. I love it. I love the Queen of Ariel, the Queen of Pentacles. Embrace that. Embrace that part of you. Anyway, take that time and take that moment to do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. You know that helps me and keeps me on air. It really does. As always, though. Oh, and I'm on Rumble too. So do the Rumble thingy. Um, as always, though, my Tauruses, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.